Hey guys, what's up? It's us Pamon here and today and today we're gonna be talking about how you can make your um a YouTube thumbnail. So if you can hear this, it's because my mouse pad is actually not working with my mouse for some weird reason. So I have to use my mouse on a piece of paper and it kinda makes a noise. So the first thing you wanna do, um I am currently using Adobe Photoshop Elements 12. You can use any Photoshop editor or anything really. This is really just basic stuff. So you want to go to File, New, Blank File, Width, 1920 by 1080. Make sure this is set to pixels. Resolution 300, and keep it about at that. Click OK. Um, and then you just really want to come in here and pick a color. And one second, guys. Okay, I am back. Um, so you just want to come in here and pick a color. I'm going to go with a darker blue. No, actually, I'm going to go with a pinkish color. I've never done a pink thumbnail. So then, it really doesn't matter what color. You just want to make it pink or whatever color you're using. Um, actually, let's change it to a bit lighter. Okay. So now, you want to add a new layer. However, you would do that. Make sure it's above it still. You want to, if this is to add in a texture. So I want to do file, place. I want to scroll through this, which I'm going to black out so that way you guys don't see all my stuff. Um, it's actually on my desktop. Um, no, why can't I find it? So the thumbnails, textures, and then you just want to find a texture like some of these. You can find them on Google, um, just Google um, textures, and I actually got a pack. So I'm going to use one that I've never used before. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees and come down here, 90 degrees. Okay, and then I just want to make sure I don't distort it. Um, you'll probably have to hold shift. I personally don't have to hold shift in this program. Uh, uh, it's so hard to use my mouse on a piece of paper. Uh, okay, it's not big enough as you can tell. And you just want to cover all of the pink area. You can distort it a little bit, so I'm going to. Okay, so when it's covered up all of the pink area, you want to go to this little button here, which is just an overlay button, and you want to find overlay, and it gives you this cool, like, like wrinkled effect. Um, if you don't like that, you can do, like, a soft overlay, which kind of looks a little good. You can do a harder overlay, which kind of looks really good. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of text. So, we'll just do sample. Usually, which color stands out about the best is when you do like a vibrant kind of yellowish. Then you want to make it bigger. And I like to do something about like that, kind of center it. That looks pretty good, and you can add, like, if it's, like, a Let's Play, you can add, like, number one, and you can go a lot more in-depth with this. You can add a Minecraft logo. You can do pretty much whatever you want. So then the other way you can do this is I'm just going to delete all these. Yes. Yes. And that we don't really need to delete, so we'll just hide it for now. So we want to start off with our blank file. You want to choose two colors this time, so I'm going to do like a dark pink and a actually no I'm gonna do a dark blue and like that and then I'm gonna push X so I can switch colors and about I want a brighter blue so like that and then if you already have a brush um, you can just do it right away, but if you don't already have a brush, you can go and find one online. So you just want to go and you want to find a brush that kind of looks like this, 
like a, a spirally kind of brush. And then you can just kind of center it. And it looks pretty good. And for some reason, I don't know, I messed up a setting in mine. But the opacity isn't 100%. It should be for you guys though. Um, but then you can just... Or maybe that's why. Wait. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but you can pretty much just, um, kind of mess around with it. You can add that on top. But like I was saying, mine seems to be messed up. And I'm not sure why. So if you guys happen to know why, then go ahead and leave a comment, because I don't know why it would do that. So, you can pretty much just kind of make it however you want, and then you can add text over that. Um... But like I was saying, you could like go back over it even if it was like that. And then add a different color, create a new layer, drag that underneath, and then just make that the background. But then you could make it kind of like harder overlay. But then you could even give that a texture too. And so there's just a lot of things you can actually do with these. And so, I would highly recommend you start making your own thumbnails if you already haven't. They just make your videos look so much more professional. So, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is S. Palmer, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.